Hello everybody, I'm Jay Mack and I'm going to show you how to install a free antivirus utility. I'm going to take you through the process of installing AVG, which is just is short for Antivirus Grissoft, which used to be the name of the company, but now they just changed it to AVG. So the first thing I'm going to do is fire up my internet browser. And I'm going to type in free AVG. Now, a couple things I want to point out when you see the list of your options. The first two down here where it says avg.com, avg.com, these are the actual website where the AVG product is. The third site is cnet.com. I actually use cnet only because I know if I click here, it's going to take me straight to the download. All right, then you hear C is cnet. Uh, there's the free edition right here. I can click on download now. I'll wait, and I should probably see a little bar pop up here. There it goes. Now I'm going to right click on this bar, and now I can download my file. Now, when this option comes up, you've got a couple of choices. I can either run the application, which means it's going to install the application in my memory, and then it's going to try to run the application and install it automatically. That's one option. I prefer to hit save. The only reason I hit save is I'm going to save it to my desktop just to leave the name and hit save. If I save it myself, I can go back and use it later. I can put it to a CD, give it to a friend, something like that. Or if something happens a month down the road, I can just reinstall it if I want to. But if I hit run, run just installs it and then it doesn't save you the installation files. So you would have to go back to the internet and download it again. I prefer to save. Again, you never know when you're without internet and you may need to load that before you get internet something. There's always some weird reason, but I just prefer to save. All right, while we're waiting on this to download, I can actually minimize this, and we can watch it down here, the percentage. But I want to take you back to that search page and show you a couple things. One, you may see other options, uh, File Hippo. Uh, let's go to this one here. A page like this, this is actually somebody's money-making page. Um, they have an old version of AVG. They have 8.0. We're actually downloading 8.5. Um, they've got their Google ads, so they make money off of this. Um, they probably just cut and pasted this from the free AVG website, and then you got to go way down here and download. The problem with sites like this is you have no idea what you're downloading. So I always try to stay away from those. I prefer CNET myself. And now that our download's just about done. All right, and now I've got a cute little icon on my desktop. Now, this is not the antivirus file. These are the installation files. There's a big difference. I had a friend once called me over, said, hey, I got a virus. Can you come help me out? I went over to his house, looked. He's like, here, here's where my free antivirus is, and he had just this file. This file is, again, just the installation file. It is not the actual program. This will install the program on your computer and set it up. So first thing we're going to do is double-click this, and we're going to run. All right, now obviously I want English. Uh, accept and accept the license agreement. All right, you've got two choices here, standard or custom. Nine times out of ten, you're just going to do the standard installation. The custom is if you want to put it in some other directory or do something different. Um, I'm just going to hit next. It automatically gives you a license number. Um, I do not like this AVG toolbar myself. You can install it if you want to and finish. Now that it has all the options, now it should start installing. Alright, the installation complete. I'm going to hit OK. And now if you look over here, I've got two icons. This is, again is my installation file. This is the actual program. Now the first time you run this, this wizard pops up and we're going to hit next. Now because this is the free version, you don't have any options like this but you can enable a daily scan to scan your PC once a day. I just leave the default on and hit next. Um, do you want to provide information to AVG about threats? Now again no personal information is sent to AVG. The reason this is so good antivirus companies work kind of on a reactional basis. So 
people get viruses, people report the viruses to AVG and other companies, and then these companies come up with a, a fix and then they download it to all their clients. So I want to hit yes, I want to help the people that are helping me. And now I'm checking for updates. Alright, I've updated, now I'm finishing up the installation. And finished. Now I don't personally register and all set. Now at this point you're all loaded. Um, you've got your AVG icon down here telling you it's working. If you wanted to bring it up and test it, you can either double click the icon here on the desktop or I can go down here and double click. I'm just going to double click the desktop. This will bring it up and this will show you your antivirus, anti-spyware, email scanner. That stuff is all active and up to date. If you ever need to manually update it, just to be sure, you want to hit update now and it'll pull a file. I always, when I first install this, I always do an update until it says there's no updates left. So I'll hit it again. Sometimes there's an update for an update, and that's why updating it um, twice helps. So anyway, no new updates are available. I can close this now, and I'm all set. Um, my protection's active. You can also see what version you have down here. I have 8.5.339 when my last update was, my last scan. If you wanted to scan your computer, you simply hit computer scan. I can scan my whole computer and click on this and that would do it. Or if I want to get rid of this annoying thing, I can just hit hide and I'm all set. So close that out. I've got my antivirus running. I can scan at any time. Now at this point, if you were fine with this and you didn't want the installation files for any reason, you can just right click, delete, send those to the recycle bin, move that up. And now I have free antivirus on my PC, and I'm protected. Folks, if you have any questions, this is Jay Mack, and my website is myvirusremoval.com. Thanks.